Hello guys, I'm Herman. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to identify colors with your Arduino and the TCS 3200. Let's get started. The TCS 3200 color sensor uses the Teos TCS 3200 RGB sensor chip to detect color. It also contains four white LEDs that light up the object in front of it. The TCS 3200 can be powered with a voltage ranging from 2.7V to 5.5V. It has a high resolution conversion of light intensity to frequency. And this device can directly communicate with a microcontroller. The TCS 3200 has an array of four different filters. 16 photodiodes have red filters. Another set of 16 photodiodes have green filters. Another set of 16 photodiodes have blue filters. And the last set of 16 photodiodes are without filter. So, if you take a closer look at this TCS 3200, you can see the different filters. So, how does it work? Using photodiode, the TCS 3200 converts light into current. And using the current to frequency converter, the converted current is transformed into square waves with frequency directly proportional to the light intensity. And with a properly programmed microcontroller, which in our case is the Arduino Uno, we can now read and interpret the frequency to get the appropriate color. For the pinout diagram of this module, we have the power pings where we have VCC and ground. And to select the color to be read by this sensor, we use S2 and S3. And according to this table, if we want the color sensor to read the red color, we set S2 and S3 to logic low. For the blue color, we set S2 to logic low and S3 to logic high. For the no color, we set S2 to logic high and S3 to logic low. And for the green color, we set the two terminals to be high. We have the out pin, which is used to read the output frequency. S0 and S1 are used to scale the output frequency. This output frequency can be scaled down to three different values. We have 100%, we have 20%, and we have 2%. This frequency scaling option allows for the output of the sensor to be optimized for different frequency counter and microcontrollers. And we have the LED ping which is used to control the white light. Now that we know everything about this little module, let's wire everything up according to this diagram and then read some values. Okay, so now that we have everything ready, let's wire everything up. So now we have everything wired, it's time for us to go to the computer and let me show you how this thing works. So according to our programming, S0 is mapped to, is connected to pin 8 of the Arduino Uno. We have S1 to 9, S2 to 10, S3 to 11 and the LED is connected to 6 even though not used. We have the output connected to pin 7. Right here, you have the frequency, which is the variable while the frequency from the sensor is going to be stored. Right here, you're going to see that all the, from pin 0 to the LED, they are all configured as output. And the output is configured to, um, as input since this is where the variable, um, the frequency output is going to be connected. 
For now, we're going to use the serial monitor to get the values. So initialize the serial, the serial port of the Arduino and give it a baud rate of 9600 baud. So we, since we are going to be using, uh, for this particular example, I've decided to set the output frequency to 100%. So S0 and S1 are all configured as high. So that's all for the loop for the setup function. So now we go to the loop function. In the loop function right here, we are going to start reading all the filters one after the other. We start with the red filter by configuring S2 and S3 as low. And then we read we use the post in function to read the frequency into the frequency variable. And then on the serial monitor, we're going to display red and then print the frequency red and then give it some space and the whole of this process is repeated for the other filter except for the fact that we're going to change the we're going to change the filter by setting s2 and s3 to different configuration values either low or high so we read the blue filter we read the no filter and then we and then we read the green filter. We just decided to choose the order of the truth table given to us in the in the data sheet. So after this code is all done, let's go to the program and then I'll show you how. And then I'll upload this to the program. There you can see the values that we're going to get on the serial monitor. So let's upload. So the program is done uploading, as you can see right here. So we're going to open the serial monitor. Then you can see the values that we're going to get. So now that we connected everything to the computer, what we're going to do now is to approach different objects of different color to the sensor. And then you see the values being displayed on the Computer screen on the serial monitor are going to change depending on the kind of color that we put and also according to the distance between the object and the sensor. So let's do that. So this is the green color. We're going to approach it to the sensor. Take note, you see that based on how far the green object is from the sensor, the values change. As you approach it, it change. So when we take it far, it change. So one thing that we have to remember, always keep in mind, is the fact that this sensor also uh, distance affects its performance. So when using it, we have to always keep that in mind. So let's take another object of a different color, like black, and then bring it to the sensor. So you're going to see that. All the values change. Okay, so now let's take the this color, bring it to the sensor. You see how the values change as well. Let's take the white color, which is here. You see the values change. We take the brown color. So the values change completely. So um, I believe that this sensor is going to be a very good sensor for many Arduino projects, especially when we want to do things with color sorting and things like that. So this is a very good sensor. So if we now want to uh, make something that will be able to identify colors, we now store, we now pre-store the values of each color into the Arduino program so that whenever the object comes in front of the sensor, it now goes into the database of colors and then selects the color and then perform the action that it is supposed to perform. Well, with that said guys, I thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'll see you next time on the next one. Goodbye.